Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about meeting wrestlers, and in particular one wrestler, this man right here, Chris Benoit. Now people have asked me in a previous video, my Halloween video, hey, that's a cool interesting story because I briefly mentioned it. But what's the circumstances? How did I meet Chris Benoit? Why did I meet Chris Benoit? What error did I meet Chris Benoit? There's so many questions that so many people have unanswered about that. So I'm going to tell you today. Now, he was not the world champion at the time. He was not the world heavyweight champion. So it was not 2004 era. When I met Chris Benoit, it was 2006, I believe. He may have been the US champion at the time. Actually, yeah, I think he was the US champion because I think he was still having that feud with Orlando Jordan. And I don't think he had lost the title at that point. But it was 2006 era. And I believe he bought the belt with him. I'm not 100% sure. I think he might have had the US title at the table. I'm not, I, it's a bit hazy. But when I think about it, Benoit was a nice guy. Like I didn't really, there was nothing when I met him to say, oh, he's going to go on and do this. Like there was no indication. I mean, we all knew about Eddie Guerrero. We were all a fan of Eddie Guerrero. We were all aware that Eddie Guerrero had passed away the year before. So a lot of us, when we were going up to meet Chris, we were all like, I'm sorry about Eddie. Like, you know, and also Rey Mysterio was right beside him. So I also met Rey Mysterio at that signing. And for those wondering where the location was, it was at MacArthur Square out at uh, Campbelltown or near Campbelltown. Um, and it is, and that's Sydney, by the way, Sydney. Um... The way to get a ticket to meet Chris Benoit was you had to buy a DVD from JB Hi-Fi, which was inside. And I actually went in there and bought a DVD and it was, um, I think I bought New Year's Revolution or something. I bought something, but I didn't get that signed. I got the thing signed under here. But yeah, when I met Chris Benoit, it was an interesting experience. Like, obviously now looking back, it's like, oh my God, like, Oh, what he, he did all that stuff and like all the things that we know about him now but he was just one of the best wrestlers of all time back then like obviously we don't picture Chris Benoit turning into what he did and like I'm still a fan of Benoit matches I'll watch him back and watch it for the art form alone but also Benoit the person I align more with like what Paul Heyman says like yeah three people died in that house and only one person had the choice to so I'm kind of in line with like what Paul Heyman says about Benoit but it's still an interesting one to say I met Chris Benoit at MacArthur Square in Sydney. And um, yeah, I've met a lot of wrestlers who, well, not a lot of them, but I've met a few who've passed away since then. I think the only other one that comes to mind is Christy, no, not Christy Hemi. I have met Christy Hemi though, beautiful person. Um, but Ashley Mazzaro, I'm thinking of. Ashley Mazzaro I met as well in 2007. No, no, it wouldn't be 2007. I think it was 2005. Because Flair was still competing and I didn't go to the 2006 tour or the late 2005 tour either. But I remember Flair was still competing so it would have been 2005. And yeah I met Ashley Mazzaro as well and she was just beautiful. Like she was amazing. Like I um, I was nervous because obviously I was meeting Ric Flair. Like you know the nature boy. Woo! You know I was meeting Flair and I um, right beside her. I was like, she could see a lot of people were intimidated by coming up to meet Flair, especially me when I was a bit younger. Like, I was like, Flair, oh my God. And here's a fun story. I had the opportunity to choose between either going to, I believe, I think it was Blacktown. I had the choice to go to Blacktown and meet John Cena, whether I wanted to go that way. And this is when he was WWE champion. This was at the top of his fame. I could have chosen to meet John Cena, but I didn't. Because I was like, I have to see Flair. Like, even at that time, I was a massive Cena fan, but I knew better. I was like, I have to see Flair. Like, I don't, I mean, yeah, Cena will be around for a while. I still haven't met Cena to this point, by the way. But I was a massive fan of Flair, and I was like, I have to see Flair. Like, as a wrestling fan, I love Cena. I was a big Cena fan, but I have to see Flair. <laughs> so, um, I went and seen Flair. And beside him was Chris. Uh, not Christy Hemi. Why do I keep saying Christy Hemi? Christy Hemi was beside Batista at the Batista signing in 2005. That was at JB Hi-Fi at the galleries in town in Sydney. So, yeah, if you're interested in that, that's how I met Batista. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and people know him as Drax now from the Marvel movies and so on. But Dave Batista I'm talking about. But 
you know, I've met so many wrestlers over throughout the years, but the one that always comes to mind is two, obviously. I mean, Ashley Mazzaro, because obviously she was awesome, but someone took our photo there. I got an up-close photo with Ashley, and, like, I was a kid, and Ashley was, like, smiling, like, hey, let's do a photo, and the camera person came in and took a photo, and I never got a copy of that photo, and it freaking kills me that I didn't get a photo, a copy of that photo. We tried to get an email of it to us, but, you know, back then... I think he might have just put it onto a hard drive and forgot about it. And then I never got the ca the uh, photographer's name. I never got anything to r link back to the original photographer. So it's like, essentially, there's a photo of me out there with Ashley Mazzaro that I don't even know what it is. All I know is it was at, the one with me and Ashley Mazzaro was at um, Moore Park. It was at the old, oh, what was it called? It wasn't HMV at that time. It was, um, might have been HMV. No, Sanity. It was Sanity. That was the other shop. It was Sanity at Moore Park in, this, in the entertainment quarters. And that's where I met Ric Flair and Ashley Mazzaro. And there was a photographer there. It was late 2005. It was made of in around September 2005, somewhere around that era. But it was, it was the day of the tour, 2005 late tour. And it was the one that Shawn Michaels was on because I've never seen Shawn Michaels compete live. And that was the one he competed on in Australia. So it wasn't WrestleMania Revenge. I was at WrestleMania Revenge. I'm just trying to formulate my thoughts here because obviously people are interested in this sort of stuff. So I'm trying to get it accurate. So yeah, if you, any of you guys know who that photographer was and if that photographer ever watches this and has that photo still of me and Ashley Mazzaro, me as a kid and Ashley Mazzaro, I'd really love to buy a copy of that from you. <laughs> but yeah, that was one that if I would have got a copy of that, that would have been hanging on my wall right now if I had a copy of that photo. Ashley was freaking amazing. One of my favorite wrestlers. And I should have got a photo of with her. But I did get a photo with Benoit. But it was kind of like they rush you along when they're signing. So the way it is, is get them out, get them out, move, move, move. Come on, we need to get through thousands. So obviously, and they had the wrestling tour that night. They had the, I think it was still called the Sydney Superdome. Or it may have just switched to Acer Arena. But it may have still been the Superdome. Um, but I know they had an event that night. So they were obviously wanted to get through as many people as possible. But I did get these photos that I'm putting on screen right now. I did get these photos with Benoit and Rey Mysterio. And yeah, it's like, they're not the best photos. I mean, there's one with Rey posing behind me that I'm putting on screen right now. There's one with Rey posing behind me, which is probably my favorite. That's probably a really cool photo because I didn't even know what he was doing. And my sister was like, look, look at this. And I saw it on the camera and I was like, oh my God, it is real. Like, like if you had told me right now, oh, is that Photoshop? No, it's not Photoshop. That is real. Like, obviously, he was doing the peace sign to someone behind me, but it just so happened I was right in front doing a photo at that exact moment. Freaking awesome thing. Freaking awesome photo. And my sister is credited with that photo. My sister took that photo. But then going up on stage, yeah, I um, met Benoit. And, yeah, with Benoit, what can I say? Like, he was always, like, to, to me when I met him, he was a really nice guy. Like, there was nothing there to really say this or that. Like, he was really cool. Like, I was saying, hey, sorry to hear about Eddie and, like, all that stuff. And I was like, oh, thank you. And, like, you know, there was, like, you could see, obviously, he was dealing with it. But a lot of fans were like, let's get around Ben while, like, he's our boy. Let's get around him. Like, obviously, he was dealing with the loss of Eddie. And, you know, there was a lot of stuff going on. But he was so nice. Like, I didn't really think much of it at the time until 2007 happened. And then, you know, we all knew what happened. And we, wouldn't, we didn't know what he was dealing with. And the mind of an Alzheimer's patient, you know, we, don't, we didn't know all that at the time. And concussions and CTE. And, I mean, you can say what you will about what caused Benoit to lose his mind. But, I mean, people early on said roid rage. And then they said CTE. And then they said this and that. And... We don't know what happens behind the scenes. There's still people who say, oh, it wasn't him, it was Kevin Sullivan. And it's like, no, all the evidence points towards it was Benoit. It all points towards him. There are no, um, you can say whatever you want. You can believe the conspiracy theories. That's okay. You do you, bud. But I mean, everything that points towards it is like, no, it, it was Benoit. Like every bit of evidence I've analyzed. And this is my deep dive as like my journalistic training. I was like, I deep dived into it. I was like, okay, I need to know 100% certainty or at least as close as I can be, that it was what happened. And from what I seen, what evidence I could find online, it was Benoit. And I can, I'm at peace that it was Benoit. Like, I, I feel like that was the answer that I was looking for. And it was him. And there was no dirty play. There was nothing out there. Now, there was a leaked Wikipedia thing a few hours before the whole thing came out. But, you know, Benoit misses an event. Trolls are going to get online and post whatever on Wikipedia. And, 
Yahoo answers and whatever. Like trolls are going to do what they're going to do. But I was, yeah, I had the closure of when I found out all that stuff, when I did my research into it, that there was no fair play involved. And yeah, it was just a wrestler had lost his mind and essentially did something that, I mean, has ruined his entire legacy. But you probably wanted to see the signature. You probably want to see Benoit's signature. Let me get this out. I keep it in this case because I don't like having it in a frame or anything. I should get it framed. But I just keep it in this case. It's not even a game in there. I just keep it in here for, like, safekeeping. And I don't know if the reflection is going to be bad on that. So I might turn off the power pack and turn on the light. Give me two seconds, guys, because there's going to be too much reflection from the ring light. So let me just unplug that. This is how I do videos. So you can see all the wrestlers I've basically met here. Um, I, I got, I mostly signed all this. I got all this signed until I think, until I got a shirt signed when I met the Shield, when I met Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. And that was 2014 at East Gardens, outside Big W at East Gardens. But that was a different thing because I didn't want to keep getting this signed because obviously the Shield weren't in this game from 2005, 2006. Or maybe this even, yeah, this was 2004, I think, because I was playing this in 2004. Yeah, somewhere around there. But yeah, you can see on the back here, that's Shelton Benjamin. I don't know if you can see those signatures. I'm just going to come close to the camera and have a quick look. Okay, so that is Shelton Benjamin. That's Gene Snitsky. That one is Christy Hemi. That's Rey Mysterio. Obviously, you can see the 619. I think that's Flair. That one is Flair. Uh, Batista's down the bottom corner here. Ashley Mazzaro, absolutely awesome person, absolutely awesome soul. And yeah, all the stories that come out about her that Paul London's told and all that, it's pretty disturbing. And then that signature right there, that's Benoit. So yeah, that's, um, yeah, interesting thing. You can see the whole case there of everything I got signed. But yeah, that's Benoit's signature right there. Live Ink, that is his actual signature. I watched him sign it right in front of me. So if you have any doubts, that... I watched him sign that right in front of me. And yeah, Benoit is um, a tough one to talk about. Like, I didn't even really think I should make this video, but obviously people were interested in hearing about it. And I know it's become a bit of a rant about meeting all wrestlers. But um, hey, it's not like when I got to Neil Dashwood to do a That's Gold and I sent it to the footy show in Australia. I got on the footy show, by the way. And yeah, I've been active in the wrestling fandom in Australia for ages. And... No, I don't compete or do any shows or anything like that. I don't do the wrestling side of things. I did have TNT reach out to me once, though. He's a wrestler in Australia who runs, I think, the um, one of the Australian promotions. After I got Fox 8 to go live with Raw. Oh, that's another story for another day. I'll do I'll do the story about when I got Raw live in Australia. But it wasn't only me. It was I kind of was like the ringleader of the fandom in Australia. Because at the time, Raw was on... 3.30s on Wednesday, so a full 24 hours or 48 hours after, no, 24 hours, 26 hours after it aired in, a, in America. And they were doing stuff like the Emmys live and all this other stuff, and they had all live football and all this other stuff, and I just kept sending things to Fox 8 all over their social media, like, you can do the Emmys live, but you can't do wrestling. And they did this big ad for me, like, you told us to no end on Facebook and Twitter. Jamie Toomey told it how it is, relentlessly. Now your voice is being heard. Jamie Toomey told it how it is, relentlessly. I still remember the voice on that thing and they kind of threw some shade at me, which I probably deserved because I bugged them for a year and a half, two years. But yeah, that's, that's an interesting story as well. I could go and make a separate video of that, but I'll just put it in this one. So yeah, I'm partly the reason why wrestling is now live in Australia because I bugged them and a bunch of us bugged them on every social media post they ever put up on Facebook, Twitter. I mean, Instagram wasn't really a player at the time, but we just bugged them and bugged them and bugged them until they eventually just broke and said, just put wrestling live, shut the wrestling fans up. And then as soon as they did that, we were happy campers. We're like, okay, we're happy. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm sure this isn't what the topic was meant to be about, but as, he, as I said, Benoit, met him. Nice guy when I met him, have a different opinion about him now, but. I mean, I still met him, and at the era when I met him, he was a nice guy to me, and 
I mean, I, that's no justification for what he did. That's no me defending him. He, I mean, everything that I, Paul Heyman said about him in one of those conferences, look up Paul Heyman's comments on Benoit. That's kind of how I feel like greatest wrestler of all time. One of the greatest, one of the greatest competitors, one of the greatest technical wrestlers of all time. But as a human being, what he did, like, no. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.